So I'm sitting in traffic and I honestly feel like cars should all like come with bumper pads. Like, why do I feel this way? Well, I'm gonna tell you. So yesterday morning, I had a very rough morning and I decided, I always tell when people who are Snapchatting get a text message because they either look down or up when they get the notification, if you have it on there where it shows where it comes across and they kind of read it and you can watch Sorry, squirrel. Um, so anyway, yesterday morning was rough. I usually make an eye breakfast. I wasn't able to do that because we were taking something that we had gotten on Saturday ended up being really sick and it was really traumatic and really sad and so we had to take her to the vet and have her put down. So breakfast didn't get made. So I get all of that taken care of. I take a night at Chick-fil-A. Back to my story. And I'm in Chick-fil-A having a rough morning and this flippin' lady runs into the back of my car. In the event that you don't know me, um, this is probably not news if you do, because I have been hit several times in my car, as if the rear end of my car doesn't exist. It does. And it's to say, after my experience yesterday, and then I am at the hospital today, because my little sister, congratulations, is having a baby. I'm leaving, and I watch this. Okay, so like, back to my story. So I'm pulling out of the hospital to go back to work, and this car, legit, one car, all right, so they're in the lane beside me, right? One lady stopped, they're waiting for somebody to pull in. The hospital's ridiculous when you're trying to park. And the one woman behind him is not paying attention. I'm watching this whole thing. I'm trying to be, she's not getting And I'll be damned if she did not bump into the lady who was completely stopped, had been stopped, and was waiting on a parking spot. Where do these people get their driver's licenses? Is that the right term? I hope so. I don't understand. So then, I'm pulling out of the hospital. And I'm minding my business, and I'm noticing the cars in front of me. And usually, I'm not the greatest driver. I'm actually a terrible driver. But I still pick up on things I pay attention. The, the other person... So, the person who's in front of me decides they want to be in the lane beside of us. And they pull right over to try to get in that lane, apparently, realizing there's a car there. I don't know if they were in their blind spot or what. So, they're, like, trying to honk the horn. She was back over in front of me. And I'm like, where the hell are your bumper pads? I can't take it. Oh, I can't take it. Get the crazies off the road or give us bumper pads. We need them. Is my rot for the day? You guys like my ponytail? Yeah. Work meetings got stressful. Mm -hmm. Hair was in my face. I could take it. I had to put it up. The part about my ponytail is this rooster looking thing we got going on here. Why? Because I decided to be creative this year and do so much torture to my hair that it's broken. Needless to say, lesson learned, considering I'm going to be 30 in November and I have gray hair. You're welcome. There's a little fun fact. And I can't do anything about it. You know, because I'm fun and unique and my hair soft and I can cook. Mm. So I'll have it. I'll, I'll leave you guys alone because I'm getting a little too crazy up in here. I got to get my kid. I'm going to go see my new little niece. Hopefully she's here. And then I got to go paint with my job and drink. With all the shenanigans I just said, I still feel like I'm winning.